Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to talk about what I've learned in this current shortage of essentially everything tennis and probably everything in the world. So I'm going to share that with you today. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get going today, huge shout out to P.A. Smith. I'm glad we corresponded and I was able to clarify my video about my women. All right, here's to you, P.A. Smith. Thank you. All right, so if you want to support the channel, support my dark roast coffee habit, Network is buy me a coffee. That's buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin. Thanks in advance. All right. So what I've learned in the last two years during pandemic and now in the shortage that we are currently in, as you guys know, um, it's tough to buy a lot of things out there. Um, I'm hearing Appliances are super hard to buy. Um, tires of some sort are super, super hard to buy. And it's kind of like feast or famine with a lot of things. Either you get a boatload of it, literally, or you get nothing for months. And that's kind of where we are today. Um, I feel like everybody who's walking in here is asking for shoes, which I don't have and from what i can see um uh, it'll be literally super critical this year in in the supply chain that i don't think a ton of shoes are gonna come over uh this year so i've been telling everybody don't you don't need to buy from me if you want shoes and i want to make sure you get the shoes just whatever you can find out there if you find it online don't wait, just buy it because it's not going to be there in a couple minutes, literally, and maybe buy multiple pairs and don't care about the color. OK, don't care about the color because uh, if you get nitpicky about that one, it's going to be gone. OK, no second thoughts on shoes, especially. But let's start over here. Let's start over here. Um, I actually got a great um a great shipment of sh balls just now all these balls unfortunately will be gone within the next two weeks because boy season is starting for the high schools and i am a supplier for them so they will literally these will all be gone 10 cases at a time per school to all the high schools so i can sell some of them but they're all kind of spoken for already uh, for boys matches, boys season coming up. Uh, clothing, I've actually had a stable, stable run at, uh, at the tops and the bottoms for the men. The fashion stuff's been a little short over here. I've only been able to get what I get. Um, actually was able to get some pants this year, so. I'm actually going to do a review on this on a different thing, but these these pants are really good, and I've started wearing these now. Uh, and we'll we'll do a special video on this. It's actually made by Ivy Cool. It's my daily joggers now. Uh, let's go over here. The Go bag that I told you about. We were able to get these thanks to Go um, hats. Aside from Nike, everything has been okay. I've been able to get my visors, um, regular Dunlop hats. My own hats have been in good. The supply chain's been good on these, thank God, because I got a logo on my hats, you know what I mean? Now, the thing that we just literally got in the last couple weeks that I thought were rackets were actually bags. So I got a boatload of bags here now. I'm going to pan all around the store just to show you 
Um, this bag, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. This bag here, the blade bag, I ordered back last spring. It was supposed to be here in September. It is now February. <laughs> so that bag, I literally sold half of them already when they hit the store. So the bag shortage is temporarily over because I just got them. Let's see how long it takes for us to get more because that's the other problem is I may get them now, but how long will I have to wait to get the next batch? I was literally out of pure drives until this week. And this is all I got left. That's two, four, six, eight. That's eight regular pure drives. This is the team. This is the tours. Okay. So what is that? No, these are one tens back here. Excuse me. So these are teams and lights. That's a regular pure drive. I literally have eight pure drives until next month. That's all I'm going to get. I literally had zero until this week. And that's all going to be gone. I'm sure of it. Oh, I even have some quarters. I've been sold out of quarters and a pure drive since November. Okay. Again, it's February. I was out of Rafa's until this week too. So the regulars. So I finally got them too. This wall looked very different a week ago. I probably should have shot this video a week ago when I was pretty bare in the Babylots. Um, two boxes of Babylots. Thank God fully came in this week. So that's why my wall of brackets look pretty full. Okay, so that hasn't hit hard. I literally got all my kids' rackets this week too. These are all my kids' rackets. Got the I'm trying to prepare for spring and summer camp. I got 21 inches, 23 inches, and 25 inches in Dunlop. And I got a little Babylot. Uh, who knows when Wilson will ship me. <laughs> so. Okay, accessory wall. I finally got wristbands. I didn't have, I was, all of last year, I did not have any wristbands. The, their boat finally arrived. Therefore, my ship came in. You know what I'm saying? They, they came in on a rowboat this year because it took a year to get here. That emoji, you know, see that emoji? You know, this? Yeah, yeah. Aloha. Anyways, okay. I've been okay with the grips, thank God. Every, every grip I've ordered has not been delayed too badly. So very, very short wait on that. So pandemic caused pickleball to literally explode, blow up where, where I am in Northern California. I used to sell maybe two, four paddles uh, a month. I'm up to 20. Like I, like everybody walks in, wants to play pickleball now. So that's why my pickleball section has grown. Like I used to might I mean, I used to maybe sell one case, which is 24 of these deals every every year. <laughs> that's how slow it was. Now I'm like selling 24 of these six packs every month. So pickle has exploded during pandemic. Um which is good because I got not of a lot of things to other things to sell. I don't have not of a lot of things to sell. Let's go to the worst hit um, area in the store here. So these are my sales shoes as you for men. As you can see, it's very slim pickings. Uh, the women kind of slim pickings, right? You got I got sevens. And I actually do have some nines here. No tens, ten and a halves. These are eleven and a halves. Um, but at least I have something. I'm a little surprised. The women. Yeah. Not horrible. Not horrible. There's still something left. Still something left. Mm, wow. I actually have some seven and a halves. I'm going to move these over to the regular section. 
they're not on sale anymore because I don't have those sizes. <laughs> we'll move that too. Let me see. Oh yeah, look, seven and a half. So, so this is a catastrophe over here because if that's my sale shoes, which is usually both of these, right? Like, look at my regular shoes. I'm down to literally, they it was seven pairs of Mizunos um, for women. I'm down to like seven pairs of K-Swiss. These are at least trickling in. These are at least trickling in. These are my, all of my Asics for women. So unless you're under seven, like sevens and six and a halves is kind of all I got. So that's what I've learned during the pandemic and the shortage is that not a lot of women are size seven. Not a lot of women are size six and a half. So everybody's, a, every woman, at least here, is a seven and a half and up. Because I got no tens. So most common size for women, eight. You got an eight? Nope. Eight and a half? Nope. So eight, eight and a half, and nine, most common size for women. I was lucky enough to get some Lacoste shoes. We are going to do a review on those shoes. Um, so, but I'm lucky enough, but they are pricey. You're paying a lot for that alligator, okay? You're paying a lot. I'll show you what one looks like. All right, looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, looks can be deceiving. Okay. That's the women's. Let's look at the men's real quick. So I'm down to what? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 pairs of K-Swiss. That's all I got. I was lucky enough to get some Babolats, uh, Jet Mach 3s in the white for, for men. Um, that's all I got though. My single last pair of um, Asics is a Court FF Novak size 14. Let me clean my mess over here. And what's left of my Wilsons down there between uh, Rush Pros, Mirages, and Chaos Swifts. Um, I'm surprised I have that 10.5 and, and a Rush Pro 3, 3.5. I got a couple pairs. They're, they're the white ones, though. Rush Pro Whites. I got a few pairs left down there. Um, and I was, again, I'm lucky enough to get these. Lacoste. They were the only ones that had shoes ready to ship. Ready to ship. So I literally said, I'll take some shoes. And then the guy asked me, my buddy, what color you want? It's like, it doesn't matter. I just need shoes. And he said, he said, you know what? You're not the only one that said that today. And I'm like, yeah, I think we're all on the same boat. We're rowing, baby. It's not getting here fast enough, okay? So that's that's the, the big thing is sh there's a shoe shortage, guys. There's still people that walk in here that says, oh, you got 10 and a half, Asics? Like, no, we're out of stock. Can you order it? Like, yeah, you'll get it for Christmas. It's Valentine's Day right now, though. No. Come on, dude, guys, wake up. Get some shoes. Get your shoes now. Okay? All right, let's go to strings. So, strings seems to be the only thing that's been surviving well in this whole deal. Um, the only thing that I've had a shortage of in the last year has been natural gut um, a little bit of Lux Salon ALU and some NXT 16. Uh, currently, RPM 17 in a reel is sold out. But fortunately, everything else has been in stock for me to string. So that's kind of one of the things that's keeping us going. But again, like everything else looks pretty good except for the shoes. Um, as you guys may have known in my past video, I was literally down to my last two cans of balls right before Thanksgiving. And 
then they started kind of streaming in a little bit more. So, but literally if I don't, didn't order balls, I wouldn't get any balls. Right? That's what they told me. Cause I can't pick up a phone and say, Hey, I need 10 cases of balls for a tournament. They're like, yeah, nope. Good luck. So that's what I've learned in the shortage is that, um, don't wait. I'm sure you guys, uh, hopefully know that, you know, it's February right now, tennis season starting in March for most places and prepare now. Think ahead. If you see the shoes, get the shoes. Before I go, I wanted to talk about, um, how busy it is on the court. It's tough to get a pro right now. It's tough to get a lesson. I've partnered up with playyourcourt.com and hey, they can find a coach for you. They can find a evenly matched person for you to play with. They can even maybe help you set up, um, like a couple sets. It's, it's super easy. So check it out. It's playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin. There'll be a discount code there for you. Okay. Guys, thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis.